Howard Zinn's A People's History of the United States is an important book that looks at the past of the United States in a radical and critical way. Zinn's approach to history is unique because he questions the standard story of American history that the ruling class made up and spread around. Instead, he gives a different view that is based on the experiences of people who have been hurt or left out, such as indigenous people, African Americans, workers, and women. The book is set up in order of time, starting with Christopher Columbus's arrival in 1492 and ending with the Gulf War in the early 1990s. Zinn's book is made up of 25 parts, and each one is about a different time or theme in American history. In each chapter, Zinn gives a detailed and critical analysis of important events, people, and movements, with a focus on how regular people fought against oppression and exploitation. One of the most important ideas in the book is people's history. Zinn says that history should be written from the point of view of those who are repressed and left out, not from the point of view of those in power. He says that elites wrote traditional history to defend their power and privilege, and that the views and experiences of ordinary people have been mostly ignored. Zinn wants to get people involved in social justice action and to question the dominant story of American history by focusing on the struggles of ordinary people. In this book, Zinn argues against a lot of the myths and stories that are often told about American past. For example, he disagrees with the idea that the American Revolution was a noble, united fight against British oppression. Instead, he says that the revolution was mostly driven by the interests of the leaders and that many colonists stayed loyal to the British. In the same way, he disagrees with the idea that Abraham Lincoln was a friend of racial equality. He says that Lincoln's views on slavery were complicated and that his main goal was to keep the Union together. Zinn's book also praises the role of social groups and grassroots organizers in shaping American society and challenging the status quo. He gives in-depth accounts of, among other things, labor unions, women groups, civil rights groups, and anti-war activists. Zinn shows through the stories of these people that history is not made by a few great men but by the work of many people working together. In addition to looking at the American past at home, the book also looks at American foreign policy from a critical point of view. Zinn says that the United States has often put the needs of big businesses and the military-industrial complex ahead of the needs of regular people. He criticizes the things the United States did in Vietnam, Nicaragua, and Iraq, among other places, and he talks about how terrible war is for people. Zinn's use of first-hand sources is one of the book's best parts. He uses a lot of diaries, letters, speeches, and other records to make his story of American history vivid and interesting. He also includes the views of Native Americans, slaves, and women, all of whom have usually been left out of historical accounts. In the end, A People's History of the United States is a strong and thought-provoking book that questions common ideas about American history. The book gives a new, nuanced look at important events and people, giving a voice to the challenges of underrepresented groups and praising the power of working together. Zinn hopes that his alternative history will encourage people to work for social justice and to question the main story of American history. Anyone who wants to understand the complicated past of the United States and the ongoing fight for social justice needs to read this book.